Hello and welcome. What's up, guys? This is me, Ahmad Khan. In today's lecture, I will be demonstrating style byte character, uh, which I have coded uh, recently. Uh, well, to be honest with you, this is the upgraded version of Deep Shadow Crypter, which is being detected by most of the Intuaris solution right now. Secondly, apart from that, I would like to inform you this scriptor is still undergoing. I mean, I would like to integrate uh, artificial intelligence so that the scriptor becomes uh, intelligent scriptor. So, of course, as I said before, with passage of time, I will be adding uh, more feature to this scriptor. So, in today's lecture, I will be just giving you the demonstration of my scriptor, which is a still byte scriptor. So uh, you can visit Cyber Sec Revolution shop and you can uh, purchase your desired product. Uh, you can see clearly uh, FUD Deep Shadow character, which is basically uh, not useful currently. So probably I will uh, we will replace it with the new one so that you can purchase it easily. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute the crypter and then I will uh, give you the result how it's uh, it looks like. So let's get started and let's dive into the practical demonstration. Um, before making my malware FUD, I would like to know I will be using websec.net scanner in order to scan, um, I mean the file, the output generated file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, run the crypter and you can see here this is still byte crypter and then what I'm going to do I'm going to generate the malware so I will be using ingerate just for demo, uh, f just for the demonstration purpose uh, before using ingerate what I'm going to do I'm going to disable defender the reason is that uh, ingerate is totally detectable probably defender will uh, flag it so what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to disable Defender. I think so, it's already disabled, yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute uh, NGRate and uh, I will delete the server.exe, which is basically the malware generated by the NGRate. So I will delete it, I will generate a fresh malware and then I will try to scan the result then I will craft it using still byte crafter. Then I will compare the result of both the file, I mean the crafted file and the original file. So I think so far listening port, it's fine. So I will click and start. I will uh, just right click and then I will delete it. Now let me generate fresh malware. So I will click on builder and I will click on build. I will uh, save it um what's happening i will copy the path and then what i'm going to do i'm going to just paste the path here and i will save it and boom so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to scan the result of this original file so for this purpose as i said before of course i will use websec scanner so I'll click on all files. I will select the file server. I will click on open. Just pay your attention how many antivirus detect this particular file, which is basically the original file generated by the NGRAT. And then I will crept it. I will try to rescan the file and then I will compare it with the original one. So uh, you can see here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the crafter in order to craft the file. So for this purpose, I will open the crafter, I will click on browse. Uh, I will paste the location, I will select the file server.exe and then I will click on browse in order to browse uh, in order to browse the stop file so i will visit stop i will select the stop i will click on open and then i will generate the encryption key and then probably the icon i will choose the icon so let's see if i have the icon on the stop let me check it 
I will use PDF icon. Uh, let me click on belt. All right, now it's done. So I just uh, need resource hacker probably. So what I did, I copied resource hacker from the RSC folder and the prog and then I paste here. Now the problem is, is, is fixed and the malware has been successfully generated. While on the other hand, you can see the, reject, the detection ratio, it's been detected by 17 into RS is almost, it's detectable most of the into it's, RS. It's, it's, it's detectable, I mean the original file is detectable. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to scan uh, the corrupted file so I will just remove, oops, I will just remove this and I have to scan the origin, uh, the new file, I mean the corrupted file. So the corrupted file I will find in REC folder, uh, sorry. Where is the corrupted file? Let me check it. Uh, see, all right. All right, it's in Gerait folder. So now let me check. Boom, you can see here, this is the corrupted file. So I will rename it to like, uh, for example, PDF underscore editor to make the name legitimate. So I will uh, hit enter button. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on browse file button in order to scan it. I will click on show all files and then I will just browse PDF underscore editor. Now just pay your attention what's going on, what will happen. So I'm just waiting for this and you can see here, uh, it will start the scanning process. You can see here the scanning process has been successfully initiated. So I'm just waiting for this. When, once the file will scan, then I will compare the result and then I will execute the corrupted file and I have to show you uh, if it's giving me the incoming connection, uh, incoming connection, I mean back connection or not. And boom, you can see here for now it's been uh, undetectable. I mean zero detection. I think so. Some into RS failed to scan this file. And some, in, uh, you can see here this one failed. And it's still scanning. So I will just wait for this until all into RS solution will scan it. I mean, will check my file. So I'm just waiting for this, it's in pending, it's filled, I mean, uh, trend macro has been failed to scan this file. So where is fighter, just waiting for this. It's pending, I don't know why it's pending, but for now you can see how it's fully clean, I mean it's undetectable like Casper Sky, Microsoft Defender is bypassed, uh, Nano Note 32 is, has been bypassed and you can see here all these. So I think so it's okay since it's been in pending. Pending. So what I'm going to do, it's okay. You can see here the detection ratio is zero. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute the file. I mean the corrupted file and then I will show the result. But before this, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to scan this file with Defender. So I will uh, click and scan with Microsoft Defender. And you can see. And you can see here, no current threat found. It's, it means that Microsoft Defender is unable to scan this file. I mean, it's, 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 it's able to scan the file, but it's been bypassed. It's unable to detect it, yeah. So I will right click, I will click on open, just pay your attention. I'm just waiting. And now you can see I got the uh, connection back. And probably now it's working. So if I'll right click, uh, I can click on remote desktop. I can view the desktop. I can do probably anything depends uh, on my choice. So I hope it's clear to you. And the detection ratio is zero. So you can purchase it from Cybersec Revolution Shop. Uh, we'll see you in the next lecture.
thank you for paying your valuable attention to this particular topic and for your time.